Hey everybody, it's I Want to Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at resizing the LVM storage in Proxmox. To get started, navigate to the Proxmox web UI and get logged in. I'll expand the Proxmox node name in the left navigation and select the local storage. We'll see that the local storage is about 17 gigabytes in space with less than 5 gigabytes free. And the local LVM storage is about 12 and a half gigabytes with zero bytes free. Select the Proxmox node name, then click Shell to connect to the web-based terminal. We'll use the fdisk-l command to list the physical disks and partitions connected to the system. We can see that dev-sda3 is our LVM storage, and we have 31 and a half gigs of storage to work with. Next, we'll use the VG display command to list the volume groups. We'll see that the volume group matches the size of the SDA3 partition. Next, we can run the LV display command to list the logical volumes. Think of these like separate partitions inside the volume group. Make sure you have a backup of your Proxmox installation before proceeding. To resize, or in our case expand the LVM partition, we'll use the FDisk utility pointed at the SDA device. We'll start by typing P and pressing enter to list out the current partition table. Then we'll type D and press enter to delete a partition, and enter the partition number, 3 in this example. Next we'll type N and press enter to create a new partition, and press enter to accept the default first sector and last sector. When prompted to remove the signature, make certain to type N for no, this is crucial, then press enter. Next we want to set the partition 3 type back to Linux LVM. Type the letter T and press enter, then enter 3 as the partition number, and 30 as the partition type. With the partition type set, We'll enter W and press enter to write the changes to the disk. Next we'll use the fdisk-l command again to output the new partition table. We'll see that partition 3 is a Linux LVM partition but is almost 64 GB in size now. Now we'll run the PV resize command against dev sda3 to resize the physical volume. Then we'll use the LV resize command to add 8 gigs of space to the PVE root logical volume. We'll use resize to fs to resize the underlying file system on PVE root. Now we can use LV display again to list the logical volumes and see that PVE root is now 24 gigabytes. The last step is to extend the PVE data logical volume. We'll use the LV extend command again, this time telling it to use 100% of the free space in the volume group. We'll take another look at the LV display output and see that the PVE data logical volume is now almost 36 gigs. Back in the Proxmox web UI, we can look at the local and local LVM storage and see the changes there as well. 